Two degrees Celsius. It dropped two degrees since yesterday. Well, hopefully it will warm up a bit by mid-morning. Anybody miss the space stations yet? 28 degrees Celsius year-round. I never knew what cold actually felt like. Sleeping bag and ice on it this morning. Hey, Dan Zigger's back. Let's see what he found. Here you go, Dad. Nice. It's worse to the south. Higher elevations, no place to hide in the wind. And the snow's already about a meter deep. We'll try southwest. Don't get too far ahead of us. If that storm blows in, it could be serious. Alonzo. Did you have any more dreams last night? Same thing. Terrence showed me a night sky. Two full moons crossing. And they asked if our boy is ready. Ready for what? They don't say. Be careful. Day 61 on a new planet. I knew Devin was worried about the Tarians and what they had in mind for his son. But I wasn't concerned about that about alien species. At the moment, I thought our worst enemy was winter. As usual, I was wrong. Come on, you, Lee. I've been at him. But it's too cold. Oh, it'll warm up once you start moving around, okay? We have to pack up. Find a good place to camp for winter. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We're staying here. That wouldn't be a very good idea, Yuli. When the snow blows in, we'll have no protection here. We'll be safe in the garden. What garden? Mary's garden. It's warm there. What are you talking about, Yuli? I'll show you. Yuli, could you be ready? Yuli? Yuli? Yuli, what are you doing? Tony, we're we'll camp. Where are you going? Yuli. Where are you? Anybody home? Let's say nobody's been home for years. Come on, Dad. It's nice inside. Yeah. What do you think? Could this have been built by penal colonists? Well, whoever they were, they sure knew what they were doing. 
This whole sphere's been on a self-perpetuating cycle for 15, maybe 20 years. What about the occupants? I don't know. Maybe Yale could do a search for that logo. John, come look. We found the pieces of some more prefab structures. Some cold weather clothes. Oh, boy, this place is looking better and better. An ideal camp. Yeah, just when we needed it. They'll be back soon. Alonzo. What, are we all supposed to pretend we haven't noticed? What about toxicity? So far, this dome seems perfectly habitable. How did Yuli know about it? I don't know. I can't get a straight answer. Did it have to do with the Tarians? How they've changed him genetically? But the Tarians got what we promised them. They healed Yuli, and we helped them get rid of Gaul. They have no right to expect anything else from us. So are we going to stay here? I think so. At least until the weather changes. We were very lucky to find this place. What did you call it? Uh, Mary's Garden? Mm-hmm. Where did you get that name? I don't know. Yeah, when we first landed here, and the Tarians took you. When they made me well? Yeah. I know we've talked before about that night. I told you. I woke up, and I was in a cave. And Mr. Danziger came and got me. But you, you did say that you remembered at one point you were in the ground. Oh, yeah. Turns were all around me, and I was sort of getting buried. That must have been scary. It was fun. I wanted to stay. You did? Yeah, but they said it wasn't the right time. I had to come back. When? When were you supposed to come back? Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. It's okay. You look, what are you doing? I woke up. I think I was thirsty. Why were you up there? Here. I thought I heard something. Come on, let's, uh, let's go get you something to drink, okay?
Phoenix. It wasn't until later that I realized this was what I had been dreaming about. Mooncross. It was a special season when Terrans perform a ritual they called going in, going back to the earth, what we call dying, I guess, but to them, it was heaven. So what if the outcasts are coming? No, I dreamt with you, now you talk to me. Why should I help? Tell me. Outcasts will kill you. What about them? Can they help? Mooncross. Mooncross? Here. Bill? Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? I guess I could ask you the same. Yeah, well, I uh, certainly didn't sleep very well last night. You know, I know that this place seems like a good place to bunker down for the bad weather, but I, uh... Did not! Hey, guys! You're it! You're it! I was just it! Yeah, and you didn't find me, so you're it again! Hey! Hey, kids, what's the problem? It's my turn to hide. No, it isn't. Tell you what, 
Why don't you both hide and I'll seek, okay? All right, I'll count to 50. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hurry up, it's time. Oh. First. Oh, my God. Yeah, what is it? What is it? I was trying to to search my mental files for some reference to the structure's trademark. I must have triggered an aversion mechanism. Gave myself quite a shock. Yeah, there's certain parts of history you're blocked from referencing. I guess I would be discouraged from inquiring about events that overlap with my own past to prevent me from discovering my pre-wash identity. Children. 48, 49. 50! I'm coming! I took a few trips to the dream plane, but I got her to explain that these outcasts wouldn't be a threat until midnight, when the two moons would rise. Whatever crime they had committed was so heinous that they had been banished and forbidden from going into the pool. They were sentenced to life without death, so to speak, and had driven these outcasts to more and more violence. Now you go, get your boy. Bring you here. His mother might have something to say about that. This is his mother. Do you want to tell Devin that yourself? Come on, come back with me. <laughs> you might like it better than you think. Sleep now until the moon comes up again. So now everyone rest. And you do too. Because you're one of them. 
Almost. You must have noticed you're different. You know how to speak. You got these clothes somewhere. Do you go into that pool in there? What are you doing? I can't explain the feeling that came over me in that tearing in bed. But it's the closest thing to flying I've ever felt. It helped me later to understand her. Why she did what she had to do. Okay. You made your point. It's not half bad here. But if you get something to tell my people, maybe it's time you met them. If you think I'm interesting, wait until you see them. Back by Moon Cross? No problem. It is long walk? We don't have to walk. It's okay. It won't bite. Now, you can come here and sit down right here. It's all right. Just like that. Just put your feet out. Right there. Okay. okay. And you want to hold on. There, there's something wrong with this place. Something terrible must have happened here. You're right. Come see what we found. We were clearing out some dead vines when we found them. It was hard to say what this woman was. I mean, she was a woman. That was obvious. But she also was part child, part Tyrion, part wild animal. It wasn't going to be easy to introduce her to civilization. But I had to try. Uh, I need a break, so... I'm gonna go stretch my legs, okay? What is this? This? Uh, it's called a, a hugging and uh, and touching. People, men and women, uh, do this when they know each other better. This is is human. This feeling. I I, I yeah. Um. And, People limit this to uh, their friends and their family. No? My 
family that does not touch. Well, the, the, the Tarians don't. What about your your real family? Your father and your mother. What about them? Where are they? Tarians are my family. She understands us? Yeah. Do you need a coat? It's okay. She's a little shy right now. Okay. And this little thing saved you from renegade Tarians? Yeah. Well, it looks like she can handle that stick pretty well. She says she needs to talk to us about Yuli. What about Yuli? What, what do you want? It's okay. Settle down. It's all right. Hello there. I bet I know something you'd really like. It's okay. How do you like it? Now let me get your back. Hey, stop that. This is for your own good. Haven't you ever had a bath before? Uh, we, uh, we've rounded up some clothes that I think should fit you. And uh, this is Julia. She's our doctor, and she's going to examine you as soon as you're finished with your bath. I'm just going to touch you with this glove. It's going to tell me all about your health. Touch. Alonzo, show, show me touching. You know, um... I don't know what to call you. How about Mary? Look. This is you. Other people lived here before. We don't know who they were or what happened to them. Maybe you do. You must be connected somehow to whatever happened here with the original settlers. I just know it. They were a group of radical biologists. They were outlawed on the stations for proposing domes like this one. To preserve botanical species from Earth. Yeah, what is it? Devon. This wasn't from my files. This must be memory. It's not as pronounced as Yuli's change, but her DNA has been altered. If she was an early attempt at assimilation, they've improved their technique. Well, what does she want? Biologically, she's human. Socially, she's bonded to the Tarians. Although I'm sure that we could nurture her human side. Devon, you always trusted the Tarians. It seems the more we trust them, the more they want from us. Devon! Devon, you better come see this. Did it hurt? Only a little, like you said. You... Ah! What are 
are you doing with that thing, Louie? Learning to stop outcasts. You will never touch that thing again. Do you understand me? He needs to learn to join us. Yuli is not joining anything. He has to. It is Mooncross now. It is time for him to go in. That is why I came, to get him. Get him? You are not taking my son anywhere. Let's hear her out. Let's just all sit down and hear what she has to say. Oh, she's welcome to say whatever she'd like. But you will never take my son. Do you understand that? Mom! Let her go. Let her go. What did she say? She called you a human. that mom how could I do that I don't know I liked her Mary didn't you I didn't like her wanting to take you but she was right what she was thinking and what was that you know mom it's all going to be all right I promise Look, it's bedtime, Millie. Why don't you go get some sleep, okay? She was worried about me. Now she knows I'm all right. I know. I know. Do you remember? You used to live here. I don't know. You were a little girl. And your parents fought with the Tarians. No. At first, we were all friends. Then one day, my mama told me I had to stay away. I must have been little. I remember I was learning how to, to read. And then one night, 
They came to get you. They broke in. That's what they did. The outcasts. They killed my mama and daddy. <laughs> Alonso. It's okay, Mary. You're crying. It's what humans do. So the Italians punished the outcast. They adopted you. The tribe didn't want anyone hurt. Please, let your boy go so it doesn't happen again. Devon? It's Yuli, he's gone. He took the ATV. He doesn't have lightning. Vehicle halt. Vehicle confirm. Previous trip reversed. for the outcast to be forgiven. over now, he says. They can stop fighting. Wait. And Mooncross is over. What's happening? Did the Terrans help me again? Actually, you helped the Terrans. You helped all of us. So our small boy was initiated as the link between two species. And he brought peace to the Tarians. And the mother's fears were calmed. For now, Yuli would only be changed to Mooncross. Dream. And Mary showed me, in a dream, why she had not become the Tarian's human link when they had taken her in. Mary hadn't only lost her parents, 
She had lost her connection to all humans. Orphaned. She'd become too much like the Terrans and couldn't be a link to humans. You're not an orphan anymore, Mary. comfort in knowing that in seeing Mary, the spirits of her father and mother finally rested. The outcast Terrans who had slaughtered them could also finally rest. And the chance for making a better home was where it belonged, in the hands of all living species who share this second earth.